people it's ariana monet and welcome back to my channel and for today's video i am doing a natural makeup routine and i'm really excited to do this video so let's go ahead and get into it all right you guys so the first thing that i do in my routine is i moisturize my lips so just because i don't like putting lip gloss lipstick or anything of the makeup sort of lip products on my lips while they're still in the process of being moisturized i don't know that's just me the first thing i actually go in with you guys is primer this is the milk makeup hydro grip primer i love it it actually really works for me this is a bit of i wouldn't say a controversy it's just a lot of people say there's a lot of primers out there that do a lot better because this primer i think it was 30 something dollars and you know i just bought it because at the time i was just experimenting what makeup products actually work and i had no idea what the dupes were for this the elf the green tube minting primer something like that but yeah so now i'm gonna do foundation so i use the airbrush flawless foundation by charlotte tilbury i really love this foundation i got it in shade nine and yeah it really feels like it blends in my skin and i just use this brush i don't know if this is a real real foundation brush it's a little crusty but it's whatever and now i'm just gonna apply the foundation so if you see me looking to the side or in front i have a mirror on both angles so that's what i'm looking at and when i apply foundation i never go for my nose or any eye area that I have. And that's personally because I don't like how it looks. And then I feel like foundation, it creases your eyes a lot more than it should, even if you use like a really good foundation. I mean, you can always set and everything. That's good, but also I'm like, eh. I just rather not put it under there. Besides, under your eyes is like your thinnest skin really so i don't like it feeling too caked up or anything so i just like to leave it for concealer all right you guys so before i go into the next step you're gonna see this a lot throughout the video i always blend so i just take like a damp beauty blender it's very squishy and it's gonna blend out well i don't really like wet beauty blenders that much because i just feel like it does more damage than good but people say you should blend with wet beauty blenders but also it's just like it doesn't give the same coverage you would have with a brush i feel like the only reason you should even use a damp or wet beauty blender is to literally blend anything else no and that's just me i just don't like how it looks on my face i feel like my makeup looks better if i don't do that now i'm gonna go in with concealer so i use the elf hydrating camo concealer the satin finish and i got this product a couple of days ago and i actually really like it and i just put it right here that i put a little bit too much this is a lot of the makeup packs that i saw on tiktok i'm not gonna put it on my nose yet y'all are gonna see why I kind of use a different process for my nose, but now I'm just gonna blend this out. I also get a lot of my tips, you guys, from Vogue videos. So Vogue Beauty Secret series with different celebrities, or I get my tips from TikTok. I watch Michaela. I don't. That was really bad. I don't know her last name. I'll put her TikTok in the pop up. She's really good and she's so funny. Well, she's so entertaining. She's not like really a comedian for real, but she's very entertaining. All right, now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna go in with the second concealer. I use the LA Pro Conceal. I mentioned this in my Get Ready With Me video. I'm literally only gonna put this concealer in the smallest spaces that I really want to find. If you conceal and contour, I feel like that really shaped your face. So I'm gonna put it like a dot here, dot there. And I put a dot, I mean like a line here because you see the color difference and I, I really don't like it. And then I'm gonna put a thin line for my nose. And then I'm also going to kind of make this a little brighter. And the reason I did this is because I feel like certain areas of your face should form a little better than others, especially when you're doing a natural makeup look. So I actually leave this on for a couple of minutes. While I leave this on, I do my brows. So for my brows, I use these three products. So I just use this Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. I know you can't see it because I'm running out and it's, I got it a couple, maybe a month ago. And then I have this LA Colors Eyeliner and Brow Pencil. And then I just use this spoolie. I'm gonna also put the link in the description of these brushes I use. My cousin 
got them for me i found it off of amazon too so i feel like it should be in there so for my brows i literally just brush them up and then i kind of like do soft lines i'm not the one to outline everything i kind of soft line it because i like a more fluffy brow look i made that way too dark at first i didn't see the point of this because i'm like well if you have a comment you just need to fill in your brows completely then after i feel pretty comfortable with my brows i just brush them up with the clear brow gel so now that i've done my brows i'm kind of going to clean them up just a little so i use the same la girl concealer that i use to highlight this i'm going to start from like the middle back I'm not adding excess concealer i'm just going to outline i don't really like a such defined brow so i don't really like to conceal this for my entire brow i like to use a different shade <laughs> that's really ocd or crazy but i use this la bro pro conceal just in a different shade this is fawn shade fawn and then this concealer is it's actually a yellow corrector so it's not really a concealer this perfectly matches my foundation all right you guys so i'm done with that and now i'm actually going to blend out this concealer spots so for this specifically i do use a beauty blender but i'm not a big fan of beauty blenders when it comes to wanting a lot of coverage but i do use a beauty blender just when doing a natural look because i don't really care i don't mind my skin still showing a little bit For my nose specifically, instead of blending it out, I like to use this. I think it makes it look really defined. And then for the forehead space, I still blend it out. So, okay. I'll be right back. All right, so now I'm going to contour. And for contouring, I use the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. And I use this shade. I have no idea what it's called. I think it's called Tan. Yeah, I think it's called Tan. So basically, I just dip my brush in there. And I got this technique from TikTok. So apparently, you're supposed to go above your ear. I'm going to start right, right here. Ooh, that made a lot of mark. But it's okay, because I'm going to blend it out. TV blender because we do not want just a dark fade all right and now i'm gonna also contour around my head so for this i kind of dot hers and i know that's crazy but i really don't like dragging it at all i really have no technique for my jawline i just brush it up right there kind of making a little chin thing and then i'm gonna blend those two sections out Now, I'm going to bake. There's so much going on right now. No idea where my Vaseline went. But anyway, so now, like I said, I'm going to bake. So I use this Laura Mercier mini size translucent powder. This is the glow part. And I like this for a natural look because I like to look a little glowy. So I kind of dip it on my hand first so there's no excess product. And then I set it under my eyes. I do my nose bridge. I do anywhere pretty much that tends to crease or kind of not look the same the full day. So pretty much anywhere where I put concealer. I'm also going to do my cheek jawlines i think i'm not one to excess bake i just think it's wasting product for real literally go down the nose bridge now i'm going to do a little eye look while my face is baking so the first thing that i do is i take the fenty and this is called the snap shadows so basically i use the shade bellini baby and churro as a base Now I go in with the I Seek a Make It Easy Impossible palette and I use, literally, I just use this brown shade and I'm literally gonna put this kind of in the outer corner a little bit. Makeup is all about testing it out. Honestly, there's gonna be some things that you might not like to see on other people, but you like it how it looks on you or vice versa. Now I'm gonna take the nude LA Girls palette. I'm gonna take this angled brush and I'm gonna take this orange kind of brown color. I'm gonna put this in my crease. All right, 
Now, the last thing that I do to my eye is I connect my eye and nose. This is specifically why I did not contour my nose yet. So I literally take the contour that I used the shade tan and I kind of connect it right here. This also tells me where exactly to place my contour. And don't worry guys, I know it looks a mess, but I'm gonna blend it out. I'm gonna start actually from the outer edge of my eye. Connect it right here. And I'm gonna go down and create this button nose effect. And I'm gonna blend that out. While I'm still on eyes, I'm going to use this Too Faced Better Than You Know What mascara. A lot of the things that I got, I either got them from Sephora, the Target, or my local beauty supply store. So for my mascara, I take a tip from Avani, her Vogue Beauty Secret video. She said she winged her eyelashes to make it look more natural. <laughs> Do y'all ever feel like mascara looks different on the eyelashes? Like it's more about length and this one is more about like volume and how it looks on the eyes. All right, so I'm done with mascara. And now I'm gonna wipe off everything that's setting that I don't set for a long time, especially when doing a natural look. I'm gonna blend it out. Now I'm gonna bronze slash blush my face. This is a bronze palette. It's from W7. I don't even know what that is, but I just use this orange shade right here go right above my contour. I really do use it as a blush. I'm not a big fan of pink blushes. I'm also going to apply this just a little bit on my forehead to give my forehead a little bit more warmth. And I'm actually gonna mix these two shades to get that effect. I don't want it to look like the blush for real. This is how my blush is looking right now. So basically I had dropped it and I don't even use the shade that basically crushed. So I just use the other one. I dip that in pretty much. I don't even put my brush back into the thing again. And I literally dot. And this blush is from Wet n Wild and it's called Hello Halo. And it's a blush highlighter. And it's more about highlighting. I won't say it's really pigmented but it gives a subtle glow. Now time to highlight. So I use this same palette and I use this gold shade. I use this highlighter brush and then I'm going to put highlighter right above my blush. I like to think of blush, contour, and highlighter as like a Neapolitan, not Neo, yeah, Neapolitan. Cause you have vanilla, then you have blush, which is strawberry, and then you have contour, which is chocolate shade. Maybe not everybody uses that. I'm gonna put some highlighter on my nose bridge. I'm skipping this part of my nose and I'm gonna go right here. And with a flat shader brush, the one I had been using for my eyes, I'm gonna highlight my brow. And lastly, I'm gonna add highlighter right here. So now I'm gonna do my lips. So I use the NYX Lip Pencil in the shade Espresso. I use the NYX Butter Gloss in shade Creme Boulet. And then I also use the same NYX Butter Gloss, but in the shade Fortune Cookie. So my Vaseline is finished drying. <music> May not be the perfect lining, but whatever. So then, as you see, I'm gonna place it all over. And then for this last one, I actually just place it in the center. I do this specifically because I feel like it gives a faded out lip with the light pink, darker pink, and then a dark brown. It gives like a bratty kind of fade in, fade out lip. The last thing that I do that's in my makeup routine is I set. So this is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. And voila! So this is my makeup routine, you guys. This is really all that I do. I am a beginner at makeup. I'm definitely not a makeup artist. This is just really fun for me. I don't do this to school. I honestly only do this when I feel like it. That would be on weekends. This is like another interest of mine. So this is the final look. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure you like it and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on all my social medias at Ariana Monet underscore and at me on Snapchat at Ariana Monet. Eight, I hope you all have a beautiful and blessed day. Bye!